Countless independent workshops, as well as many branded garages, may be of the view that the topic of battery-operated vehicles will not be all that significant in the coming years. A completely understandable assumption. Yet, workshops are likely to start seeing large numbers of hybrid vehicles in the coming years. So, the topic of HV technology is essentially slipping into workshops through the back door. We want to take a closer look at what this means for you. By this, we mean the tools and equipment that you need to carry out general work on vehicles, in particular, specific high-voltage work. That's why we have come to the German headquarters of the Test and Measurement Technology Specialist, AVL D-Test, in Kodolsberg. I am joined by Christian Huber, technical expert in mechatronic product support at AVL D-Test. He will go through the products and systems that AVL D-Test supplies to workshops for working on HV systems. I am Christian Huber, and I will now introduce you to the products that we have developed at AVL D-Test for working on HV systems. The first and most important topic is safety. The absence of voltage must be ensured before starting any work. You can do this using our HV Safety. With the HV Safety, we have developed a measuring device specifically for workshops, an ideal companion to meet the requirements of the new automotive industry safety for the people who work on an electric vehicle, a reliable system whose specialization enables a safe work environment without worries, a new standard in the handling of electric vehicles to be prepared for the future. That's safety with AVL D-Test. When a defective battery module needs to be replaced in a vehicle's lithium-ion traction battery, the workshop first needs to match the charge level of the new battery module precisely with that of the rest of the traction battery. If the charge level of the new battery module is too different from that of the rest of the battery, the battery management system will not activate the battery properly. The AVL D-Test MCS, Module Conditioning System, lets you avoid precisely this problem and ensures the correct charge state of the battery. To use our MCS, Module Conditioning System, to charge a battery module to the correct charge level, the right module first needs to be selected in the software and the correct target voltage value set. Afterwards, the software automatically manages the entire process. First, the battery terminals are connected to the device. The battery module is charged to the required level via the positive and negative terminals, or even discharged, depending on the charge level required for the vehicle. Next, a cell monitoring cable is connected. Different cell monitoring systems are available depending on the car maker and the vehicle type. Our device supports all systems that are currently available on the market. The right adapter cable is used to adapt the device to the cell module. In this case, we have an analog cell monitoring system that is simply connected to the module. Once the module is connected correctly, the status of the battery module is detected and the device can automatically start the charging or discharging process. After conditioning is complete, the module can be removed from the device and installed in the battery. A detailed record for documenting the entire process is naturally available, as is the case for all our devices. To ensure that the battery module has been properly installed and that all connections have been correctly established and achieve a sufficiently low transfer resistance after replacing a module, we have our IRP. This makes it possible to measure and document all contact resistances and internal resistances within the battery. 
When repairing a battery, dust particles may be deposited on the contact surfaces of the battery and on the module connectors, and a moment's inattention may cause fingerprints to leave slight grease residues on the contact points. These would lead to an excessive increase in the transfer resistance and must be avoided, something that can be ensured by our IRP. Here we have a simulator, so it is safe to handle without using gloves. But we have created a realistic setup to show you that it can also be operated with gloves. To carry out the measurement, you place the clamps on the outside of the contact points that you want to test, which transmit electricity through the battery. We replaced this battery module during our repair. To do so, we had to loosen and reattach this module connector here, as well as this one here. And we now want to check whether the contact points of this module connector have been properly re-established and that the transfer resistance is low enough. To do so, we simply place the probe against the contact points to be measured and start the measurement with the test button. Afterwards, the battery can be completely reassembled and sealed. The HV service tester is the latest AVL D-Test development. This multifunctional service tool is comprised of two components, the basic device and a vehicle-specific adapter cable set. The basic unit contains all the diagnostic functions and controls all the processes. No matter what vehicles we are talking about, electric motors are being used in an increasingly broader range of modes of transport. In future, no matter whether an electric, hybrid or fuel cell vehicle, workshops will be required to repair traction batteries. Repairing a traction battery can be broken down into the following steps. Error analysis. Repair decision. Disconnection and voltage testing. Repair under safe conditions. Recommissioning and documentation of the entire process. Mr. Huber, why must I or should I test a repaired traction battery before I reinstall it in the vehicle? If you don't perform these tests before installation, there is the risk that errors will remain undetected and that you will have to remove and reinstall it once again. You mentioned that these were comprehensive tests. What tests are involved exactly? Our testing device automatically performs a number of checks. This includes physical electrical tests as well as diagnostic tests on the control unit. All tests are also integrated into managed processes and the information can be sent back to the OEMs. What specific electrical tests are performed? To carry out the electrical tests, contact is established with the test object via this multifunctional interface and it is connected to the device. The absence of voltage and other measurements can then be carried out at the HV connections. The insulation resistances can be measured and a dielectric strength test is performed. The physical tests includes a pressure test. This lets you determine the absence of leaks in the battery and whether a leak exists somewhere in the system. If a leak is detected, you can initiate a leak detection process. In this case, you can simply apply a slight overpressure to the battery and use a leak detection spray to search for the leak. What kind of diagnostic tests can I expect? For the diagnostic tests, communication is established with the battery control unit, which can also take place with the unit removed. This allows the diagnostic PC to check all the parameters of the control unit. The control unit can then be used to check for battery voltages, cell voltages and temperatures, and can also be stimulated so that the contactor can close and more detailed measurements can be performed on the battery in its uninstalled state. In this case, you will also need a rest bus simulation so that the battery believes that it is installed in a vehicle. This is also established by this device. <laughs>